Good morning from Cedar Mills. This is the uh, <clears throat> marina and RV resort where we're staying <coughs> in the woods. This is uh, the 14th, Wednesday. Michael and Susanna will be coming in today. I think Michael's got to go back to work, but he'll be back for the weekend. I haven't done this yet. I haven't uh, shared any, any cooking yet. What we've been doing for food, we haven't done much. We've been... Uh, Interested in you know one day's here one day there, so, so we would uh, We would just stop and do a restaurant or something along the way something interesting now that we're here set up for a week uh, I thought um, We thought we would go ahead and do some steaks and burgers and hot dogs and s'mores and all that over the fire You can see I'm doing fried potatoes this morning. I diced up a couple of uh, a couple of slices of bacon and just to get me uh, get me going here for a little bit of oil not much I don't I didn't want a bunch bunch got a nice big griddle so a griddle's pretty pretty flexible you can go ahead and you can cook on it with vegetables meat um, yesterday Cindy did uh, bacon and eggs and we have a toaster of course with power so we did that, and uh, we got a nice fire pit over here, so we'll get another fire going tonight. Got a little bit of firewood. We'll get some more of the neighbors in the process of washing their their rig. Close quarters here. Okay. And I'll come back. Sorry about that. The neighbor, uh, the neighbors are close, and they decided to wash their rig this morning, uh, and it's virtually in our backyard. So I had to stop here for a second. Uh, we had uh, steaks last night on the grill, and a nice salad that Cindy had made up. Uh, really a unique salad. Had some guacamole in it. Uh, anyway, what we uh, have opted to do, rather than drag a grill with us is that we have these disposable grills that have the charcoal already in them. Insta grills are like eight bucks. So anyway, that's what we've been doing. Cindy's still in the bed. I thought I'd get breakfast going here on Wednesday, the 14th. And uh, before she got up, at least have the potatoes done. And we could do, I think we're going to do, we have uh, leftover steak. So we're going to do some steak and eggs and uh, fried potatoes. Uh, put a little garlic, salt, and pepper on them. A little bit of bacon grease, and uh, life is pretty good. Life is real good, in fact. Okay. Turn right on Highway 32. Okay, so we're in Oklahoma now. We went over to the Ghosty Store, get some groceries on the 13th here. Mike and Sue's are coming in this afternoon. We understand. Probably going to try to get here by 2-ish, 3-ish, 7-ish, before ish late-ish. So we're uh, heading back to the uh, RV Park Marina. And uh, I just wanted to get this out and let you know that we're rolling around. And, uh, right on Highway 32. and we're going to be going across the bridge in just a minute. I want to get a shot of that across the uh, lake, Lake Texoma. Only in Oklahoma can you do about 75 or 80 legally, well, Oklahoma and Texas, uh, legally on uh, on a two-lane highway. So we're going to about 170, right, Sip? 160? 70. 170. Or was that 70? 70. 70. We're 70 miles an hour on a two-lane highway. And uh, we're all in, we're in Oklahoma, in Kingston, and we're heading back toward the RV park and uh, anyway I just wanted to get get a picture of us going 170 miles an hour before we hit the bridge and head back over the lake into Texas 38th or 39th largest lake in America according to whom the internet I don't, I don't know where around. the internet well you know they it never lies the internet does not lie correct okay now we're in Willis this is a little bitty wide spot in the road Oh, just about ready to go over Lake Texoma in back into uh, Texas, and uh, this is a good-sized lake. Here we are. Good-sized lake. 
going to be able to get big tall pictures because <laughs> this uh, Volkswagen Beetle of Sippy's is not real tall and uh, her top's not down right now. But the leg's a good size. Who's that over there driving that with a Beetle? Several marinas here on this lake. Lots and lots and lots. But it looks like we're probably going to be a mile and a half going across the bridge. So tells you how how big it is. There's a boat launch here on this side, on the Texas side. Here comes the welcome, welcome Texas sign. There we go. Okay. Back to the RV park, we got about another 10 minutes. Well, the neighbors uh, move next door in perfect timing because uh, Mike and Susanna and the kids will be here uh, shortly. And uh, I think Mike and Susanna are going to be really pleased with their site eight here at the uh, Cedar Mills RV and Resort, RV Park and Resort, Marina, whatever they call it. Nice canopy of oaks all above where the rig's going to go. So it'll be plenty of shade until probably a late, late afternoon when the sun will be going down over that oak tree over there. Okay, they uh, booked the whole place for the weekend, they told us. So uh, Cindy's over at the, uh, over at the uh, laundry room, shower house. I think you can see her car over there. I got some George Strait on. CD player out here under the canopy and uh, just got through finishing the other side of the RV it's quite a quite a task to get but uh, I washing it I, I washed it and uh, dried as much as I could get but it nice it's nice and shiny and looks good drinking a cold beer and got our entertainment center open there with the CD player and the speakers outside <clears throat> Anyway, you can see that the place is empty on this end, and uh, I've got some few, a few people down on this end that are more like in a cul-de-sac down there, I guess, closer to the turnaround where the, the lake is. Sorry about the wind, it's blowing pretty well off the lake. Yeah, you can see that they're, uh, the, the closer to the lake the more uh, densely populated the RV park is. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, touch base with you and uh, let you know that the, the guys uh, next door were washing their rig this morning and interrupting our my cooking. They're gone. Look how shiny the rig is. Doesn't she look good? I think she looks awesome. Nice and clean. Chrome's all shined up. Okay, y'all have a good one. Bye.